Why Catan is best game ever. Reason 1. Easy to learn. First player to 10 points wins. You get points by building settlements, cities, and things. The board's tiles have assigned numbers, and when they're rolled, players with settlements and cities on the corners get resources. You take turns rolling dice, trading, occasionally stealing resources, and building your little realm. Done. You know how to Catan. Reason 2. Replayable. Each game, tile locations, and their probabilities of producing are random. A resource will be scarce one game and and abundant in another. Trade negotiations are important, so who you play with will dramatically change the experience. Reason 3. Fun for normals and psychopaths alike. All games land somewhere on the luck percentage chart. Some are more roll your dice, move your mice, and some are for proving you're smarter than everyone else. Catan is in the middle. It's enjoyable to a wide population, which means the most skilled player won't always win. Weirdos might take extra time placing their two starting settlements, trying to predict the future, only to have their dreams crushed, because every time I build on an eight, nobody rolls it. We'll roll like a bajillion tens and like two eights. <sighs> It's almost never a good thing to be identified as in the lead. Although you can't burn and eight each other's peasants like you would in a war game, there are indirect ways of getting hurt, like people refusing to trade with you, getting cut off from where you want to grow, or having the robber get placed in your lands. These balancing mechanics usually keep whoever's in the lead in check. If a game is too short, you don't get invested. If it's too long, you want to die. Catan is perfect, takes about an hour, and you're not sitting idle waiting for your turn. You're regularly picking up resources, trading with a current player, or plotting out your next move to destroy the idiots around you. Oh but still gotta blend in with the normals. Uh, Dirk, the suggestive manner in which you expressed your desire for wood was quite humorous. Haha. <laughs> You see, core design elements will determine how fun a game can be and- Yeah, I used to play it when it was only in German and called Settlers of Catan. Now it's mainstream. Besides, I can name five games better in every way. Oh, but your beloved game likely would not even exist if it wasn't for Catan. <sighs> Let me explain. In America, we have spent decades in the dark ages of board games. Ever since Catan's first print in 1995, it has sold 25 million copies. Skyrim, a popular video game from 2011, has sold only 20 million copies. But these are nothing in comparison to the garbage classics that have poisoned people's perceptions of board games. Catan is a way better game than Monopoly, and it still gets outsold 3 to 1. But there is hope. Catan is our light and savior, leading us into a golden cardboard age. Sales for new games have been rapidly growing, and Catan has been the gateway for many to those amazing games. It's seeping into our popular culture, and there are even national Catan championships. This what do they do with this? this? He, he actually placed the robber down on the deuce. Look, it won't be everyone's favorite, but it's widely fun, well-designed, and undeniably made a huge impact on the industry. If you have ever thought that board games are just for stupid babies, no, they're kind of cool now, even good for you. And I really recommend you try building a settlement or two, because Catan is best game ever.